guys, I am in Czech Republic in beautiful Prague. Of course, you cannot see any of that because I'm inside of a factory that makes the CG games, most of them. It's a little bit far from the city center of Prague. It's really fantastic in here because it smells like fresh cardboard. And I want to take you with me to see the process of creating board games. So let's go. So here we are with our golden ticket in hand and we're ready to see how board games are made. There is a schedule of the production being done every week according to the needs. So you'll see different games being done simultaneously, different languages for those games even, and different parts of the process. Let's start with the boards. So it takes one day to laminate the print on the one side and the next day they laminate the other side. You can see here that the glue is dry and the lamination is finalized. The lady here is telling me that it's important to check whether the prints fit together and to make sure that they have not moved. So they make a little pinch through the paper to see that it cuts through the right part of the other side. Then they need to prepare the cutting of the punch board and they are using tapes of different thickness. They are checking again and again to see that the cutting is done absolutely correctly. Sometimes it takes even six hours to do the checking until the punching is smooth enough and all the mistakes they found are repaired. It also depends on how many pieces need to be cut. Next up, we see the box. This is the bottom part of the box. It's codenamed Duet in Spanish, by the way. On the lamination we saw earlier, they put glue on the page, but for the box, it's the opposite position. They put the glue on the paper. So that's fresh glue being put on the paper, and that's the start of the box's journey. Normally, they make the top and bottom part at the same time, but that's not always the case. So over here, they start putting the box together and they start with the bottom part. There is a machine that prints a unique code on each box. Each lady puts in the rule books at the same time and also the rest of the components and finally the top lid of the box. The boxes then get shrink wrapped, first loosely like a pajama, and then, after they come out of this machine, look how shiny and sharp. Boxes are then put in bigger boxes, they are getting sealed and they get a nice tattoo with the label. Each one of those pallets has 480 games. In one shift, there's 15,000 games produced, which is about 33 pallets and that's also approximately one whole truck. Which also means that if a truck doesn't arrive, you're stuck with all those pallets. And here's where all the cards are made. First, you have the cards being cut, put in chunks, and as you can see, they have square edges. There's marks to remove some unnecessary millimeters, and then, of course, there's a machine to make the corners round. Then packs of cards are put in the machine to wrap them in cellophane and some cards are put manually into boxes. There's also another machine putting components into bags and also a warehouse with all the components looking like delicious candy. So that was our board game factory visit where all the magic happens. Next up is up and out. <laughs> 